My name is Jasmine. Um, my course is law and I am in my fourth year. Um, it's Durham. So my Instagram is called Legally Jazz and it just kind of documents um, kind of my journey really into kind of trying to enter the legal profession and like my life is like a paralegal I'm um, studying at the same time yeah and I, I usually share kind of like commercial awareness tips and things like that as well I, I chose I chose my to do law at A level as well and just kind of on a whim and, and I was really I really enjoyed it and then I think I just I was between law and maybe history or something and I thought that law would be more practical and maybe would give me kind of better career prospects I guess but then again it's so it's very competitive law so I'm not really sure if that worked out but um I definitely don't regret it and I definitely think it's the right it was the right course for me otherwise I wouldn't be doing a master's in it as well um I thought I think it was it's very challenging very lots to learn and lots of reading I think Durham, where, where I did my first three years, um, is very, the, the definitely put you under a lot of um, kind of pressure work-wise. Um, and that's that's why that's why it, it, it's kind of such a good university, really, because you really are challenged. Um, but the lecturers and et cetera are like experts in their field and things. So it, is de it was definitely, it's definitely an interesting course to do, um, but you have to be up for the challenge of it. Um, I did law, history, and politics, and religious studies. Well, law did, obviously, some of the kind of things that we covered in A-level were almost exactly what we covered in first year of uni, so it definitely helped. But also, kind of, I did lots of history and religious studies, are kind of essay-based subjects, and that definitely helped when I was doing law, because it's, it's all essays. Um, I think there's lots of debate about whether to do law at A-level and how it affects getting into university to do it, etc. Um, I think it really doesn't matter whether you do it or not. Um, although I, I'm definitely glad I did it and it definitely confirmed my interest in law. Um, there has been lots of talk about um, kind of science subjects and well STEM subjects that help you with your course if you're doing law because just the way it gets you thinking um, and the skills it teaches. So I think whatever... I think the thing with law is whatever subject you're doing, um, they, they can help you in different ways to, to do law and there's no right or wrong answer. And I think at some universities that offer law, um, they do kind of encourage it. But at Durham, it was definitely more academic as opposed to practical law wise. So they kind of didn't, it wasn't a thing that you did at Durham. Probably it's, it is quite it is quite posh in many aspects and it can be quite cliquey and it can be quite intimidating in some ways. We have a lot of kind of formal dinners and stuff like that, which before I went, I thought I'd be quite interested in. But then when I got there, I kind of was definitely put off by, by the kind of by, by the kind of whole institution of it. I thought it was quite, um, coming from Durham as, as a local person, I just thought it was quite, the division between like local people and Durham University people was just kind of, it was quite, it's just not very nice. <laughs> it was just not very nice to be part of really. That's probably the worst, just kind of the whole kind of class divide type thing that was going on in Durham. Didn't like that at all. That's probably the main thing, because otherwise the kind of the best things were to do with just how, just kind of how good kind of the university was and how prestigious it was. Um, and kind of how there's so many societies and things to get involved in as well. So many kind of opportunities that come from going to Durham University. First year I lived in Hall. I lived in Josephine Butler, which is, I think it's the only self-catering college in Durham because there's a, there's a few different colleges um, with different aspects. Yeah, so in first year I lived in Hall. Um, I thought, I, I think it was, it was fine. It, it had less of kind of a community feel than like other ones that I'd heard of at Durham. Um, but if you want self-catering, then that is, that is, that's the one to go to and you have kind of en suites and things in halls and it's quite, it is, it's quite new as well. Um, so it's definitely the one to go to if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. Um, it was difficult in some ways to kind of keep connected to Durham and um, to the university. But I think if you make the effort to like join societies and things, you can easily do it and it, it, it's fine. The reason why I did it was purely just financial reasons because because I was actually saving up to go traveling, etc. So I, I just thought it was the best the best thing for me at the time. But it definitely is a lot harder to be like part of the community. Um, I think there's accommodation in the kind of 
in the castle, which is just literally a castle, which is which everyone thinks is quite quite fun. But the actual accommodation inside it isn't 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 that great. Apparently, it's quite like run down and not, not down it's an old building, so it's not exactly it's not exactly great. But for the aesthetics and just for, to say that you live in a castle, that's obviously <laughs> obviously quite good. Um, in Durham's quite a small city compared to um other big ones like Leeds or Newcastle, so the nightlife isn't is quite limited. But I think if you've got, if you find a good group of friends, etc., you can kind of have fun ev- anywhere. Um, it's not it's not exactly essential, and some nightlife is not as wide ranging as. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of popular shops. Um, it's quite just like a high street and like a shopping area, etc. You can kind of get everything you need if you want. It. There is, and there's also Newcastle. That's just kind of a ten minute train ride away from Durham, so it, it's quite easy to get to kind of big shopping centres if, if that's what you were looking for. But yeah, so I'm doing my masters and at Leeds Beckett. The reason why I'm doing it at Leeds Beckett is purely because I wanted I, I, I had to have a job in Leeds, so I wanted to do it at the same time as my job and it was just location wise it's the best option yeah so I do it the my master's is in law as well and it includes the LPC which means that I just need to get a training contract and then that's that'll result in me being a solicitor eventually yeah so I do my master's part-time and alongside working as well um be open-minded and don't be scared to kind of like step out your comfort zone and just do things that you wouldn't do before and it might seem like the biggest deal in the world, but after university, you'll soon forget what kind of first year or the silly things that you did or the silly choices that you made and like things that you regret doing or not doing. It, it really, it's not so much time in university and you just need to make the most of it. Um, I think probably the advice that I'd probably give um, to those starting at Durham is to make sure to join as many things as possible and don't get trapped in just doing the same things or hanging around with people just kind of try and meet as many people as possible and try as many different things as possible and because only then will you really get like the true experience of, of, of the place um i think don't be intimidated by kind of words you've never heard of or kind of the way law operates and is, is studied because it can be quite intimidating because it's quite the language when you even like what you'd usually come across and just read there's, the more you read, the better, the better it'll be for you to grow your knowledge. Um, well, at the time, there wasn't really many apprenticeships that were kind of, I saw that like were really something that I really wanted to do. I think now, like as I was going into like my third year, et cetera, there's a lot more talk about kind of legal apprenticeships. And I think if I could go back, I might have considered doing that. But I thought that university was definitely the best route for me. And I just kind of wanted to go down that traditional route and have the kind of university experience and which is legally jazz i did start that during like the lockdown period to kind of both kind of talk about my like journey through law so far because it's been kind of up and down and what 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 i've liked what i've disliked and any tips that i'd give for those like trying to get into the legal profession especially because I, I now work as a paralegal so um, and lots of people want to do that after after a law degree and also I wanted to kind of connect with other people that were doing their LPC or working part-time or were applying for training contracts etc so that's really why I made it and, and started kind of posting etc um, and I also kind of I think it kind of keeps me on track with with mm. my own aspirations by like following others talking to others that are in the same position because we kind of all keep each other keep each other going when when things are tough like lots of people have been receiving lots of job rejections and application rejections at the moment and so I think knowing that we're all on the same boat is kind of quite quite supportive and that's kind of why I'm the Instagram so I'll probably just say on whatever decision that you make with regard to studying or whichever um, course that you choose or profession that you want to go in it really whatever you can always change your mind and it's never too late and um, I always thought that like time was getting ahead of me and that I just needed to make a decision quickly but there is a lot of like resources out there now that will help you make the right decision and if you change your mind that is fine that's and if you are wanting to get into law, obviously follow my Instagram. That'll help give you a good, better idea of what it's like when you when you you are kind of 
on that kind of second stage you've done your degree but at the same time you're doing your masters etc and kind of seeing what it's like to to get past that degree stage and start thinking more practically about getting into the legal profession and um, so that's what I'd just if, if you want to follow my Instagram that's fine but other than that I think just don't beat yourself up about making the wrong decision because there's, there's no there's no wrong decision whether you decide to go to university or not. Leeds is definitely a, mo- a lot more chilled out um less kind of pressure I guess um but I think if you're willing to work hard um you can get good grades anywhere um and that and you can take advantage of the opportunities anywhere so I think I guess it's just less of a kind of a small community feel, which was at Durham, um, whereas Leeds is a lot bigger um, as a city, as, as a university at, at both. I'm at Leeds Beckett, but there's Leeds, um, University of Leeds as well. Um, they're just a lot bigger and, and kind of less of a community feel. Um, but at the same time, lots of people like that. And I think I, I prefer it um, over Durham, which was quite, was quite um, close knit. Um, but it really is just personal choice. I think just kind of the quality of the kind of work, like maybe not the quality of the work, but the they all they have the like top lecturers in the like field. Standards. Yeah, I guess so. They have kind of the top lecturers. Um, you know, so I'm sure we read you'll get the textbook will be written by the person who's teaching you, etc. So it's quite and you know classes are quite small um and and things like that and it's just kind of it's a bit it's just more prestigious really and i think that's just the main thing i think you can do well anywhere um uh, but if you want that name of name behind you that you went to durham university that that's kind of that's kind of what it sells i think durham's just a lot smaller there's less choice um it's not kind of a city lifestyle it's more kind of a large town type feel um and again, that comes down to personal choice, which one you would prefer. Um, I think personally, I like to live in Durham, but just kind of this facilities wise, Leeds is just a lot, lot, lot easier. Oh, I, I think it's just a lot more accessible. Um, I, I think I'd be much more comfortable kind of messaging my tutors or something to ask or lecturers or etc to ask questions than I would maybe some of the other some of the those at Durham just because I know the ones at Durham are kind of always busy you know writing new books and they're more academic side whereas whereas um maybe the ones at Leeds are just kind of more connected to their students support wise um when I was at Durham I think I I did have quite a lot of support, but at the same time, I I don't usually, I can't give that much of a um, view on it because I don't usually utilise it as much as I probably should. Um, So I I can't really compare them directly. Um, But from what my experience, you were both quite supportive when you really needed it. Um, I think, I don't know, I think I'd still stick with Durham um, just because I, I was there for three years. I've only been at least like one year. Um, and it's hard to compare, but I would definitely stick with Durham um, just because of kind of the work and just maybe, I'm not sure. I just think that I, I'm definitely been enjoying being at Leeds Beckett, but I think Durham just kind of tips, tips the scale a little bit.